Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In the last few surveying lessons we have done so far, we have assumed that the surveyor can simply measure distances from point A to point B without any obstacles that they have to get around. So for example, if there was a point here, point A, and there was another point, point B, we've assumed that the surveyor could simply draw a straight line from A to B and measure this line using tape or a tape measure or a trundle wheel or something like that. Um, but today what we're going to talk about is what happens if there's an obstacle that they have to get around. So for example, let's say between A and B I put, um, for example, a building. Okay, I put a building between A and B. But I still want to know the measurement from A to B. I still need to know how long this line is. So how would I do that? So the first method that I'm going to show you is called an offset method. So if you guys remember what the word offset means from the log book or the um, field book lesson is an offset is basically a line that is perpendicular to their survey line. So A to B is my survey line. Okay, A to B is my survey line. And if I draw an offset to the survey line, it will be at right angles to the survey line, like this. Okay, so what happens is at point A, I draw an offset to the survey line. So it's a right angle at this point. Um, intersection here it's a right angle so this is an offset now however long this offset is so for example if this offset is if this offset is four meters then I'm gonna draw an equal offset at point B that is also four meters okay that has exactly the same length okay so then what happens is at the end of the two offsets, so let's say I call them point C and point D, so let's say this is point C and point D, I can now draw a line from point C to point D that is parallel to point A and B. Okay, point C to point D will be parallel to point A and B because these two lines will be parallel because these offsets are um, have right angles over here. So then these two lines will be the same length and they will be parallel. So then CD is equal to AB. Okay, so what you might have to do, uh, you could be tested on, for example, um, if CD was let's say 20 meters, what does AB equal? Okay, and then using your knowledge in the offset method, you would know that AB is equal to CD, so AB would be equal to 20 meters. You might also be asked to show, um, to draw the offset, draw the equal offset, draw the parallel line to show that you know what the offset method means. Okay, so that is one possibility you could be tested. Um, and then let's do another method called triangulation method. So let's say there is a river. Okay, and the river is quite deep. Um, I can't just walk across the river. And let's say I want to find the distance between point A and point B. Okay, I want to find out how long it is from point A to point B, the straight line distance. But because I can't cross the river, I have to think of a more creative way. So basically what I do is I walk to the right at a perpendicular angle to the survey line. So this line is perpendicular. And let's say I walk to the right um, a few meters and I stop and I position a staff on the ground 
and I call this point C. Okay, I call this point C. I'm going to get back to this point later, but I'm going to keep walking to the right. How much do I walk? I walk the same distance that I have just walked previously before I put a staff down. So this line is going to be equal um, length to this line. Both of these lines have equal length, and then I'm going to put another staff here. I'm going to call it point D, and then I'm going to turn to the right at 90 degrees, and I'm going to walk away from the river. So this is going to be 90 degrees, and then I'm going to keep walking. I'm going to keep walking until I can see a point. Until I can see a point that. Joins point C and point B on a straight line. Okay, so I'm standing here. I look to my right, and I can see this point here. Okay, I can see point B through point C. Okay, can I? No. So then I got to keep walking. I got to keep walking.、Um, surveyors would have, you know, some sort of instrument that allows them to test this out. I'm sure. So let's say I get to a point where I can see. <clears throat> point B through point C, and that's where I stop. That's where I stop walking. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to just simply measure the distance between the point that I stopped on E, because D to E is the same as A to B, and Y is D to B the same as A to、B? Why is D to E the same as A to B? Because triangle ABC is congruent to DEC. Okay.、Um, why are they congruent? Well, you can look up some、um, congruency tests, but、um, it's pretty simple that they're congruent because we have one side that is equal. Okay, and we have these two angles that are equal, and we also have these two angles that are equal. So angle side angle are equal. So、um, yeah, the two triangles are congruent. So which means that side DE is the side same as the side AB. So we can simply measure this distance. So if we measure this distance to be, for example, ten meters, then A to B. Would also be ten meters. Okay, so I hope you guys have some understanding of the triangulation method and the offset method for surveying around obstacles. See you guys next time.